One of the biggest reasons why Geometry Dash hasn't really died down yet is because of how active its community has remained over the past 10 years. It's a pretty common agreement that this game is basically run by its online creator and player base. Six and a half years is what it took to go from one major update to the next, but somehow the game's player base has been on the rise, all thanks to the creative and ambitious community that this game has. There are thousands of popular and incredibly talented creators that we've seen in Geometry Dash. One idea that these creators started having was to start collaborating with others to create some of the most memorable levels in GD history. As players started inviting several creators to build a part in one level, eventually the term Mega Collab was born. As you look back, you'll notice that some of the most popular and influential levels in the entire game are Mega Collabs. Bloodbath, basically the game's most well-known demon level, is a mega collab. Even looking at other famous projects like Phobos, Hypersonic, The Ultimate Phase, the list goes on. These mega collabs started way back in the 1.7 days of GD. It's a common misconception in the community that a level named Collaboration by Seri was the first ever mega collab in GD. However, player Aeon Air pointed out that the level Velocissimo, a mega collab by these creators was around 700,000 levels earlier than Collaboration, making it the first mega collab that contained a group of popular creators. As stated earlier, mega collabs became an important part of the game. Creators left and right were hosting their own, and if all went to plan, these levels would turn out amazingly, with little to no problems in development. But what happens when things start going downhill between the leader and one of the followers? Well, the story of this level is just that. Consider subscribing if you do enjoy the video. Thank you. The level Molten Gear is one with a pretty unique story. This level originally went by a different name, and it was intended to be the final level in the Fusion series by Manix648. Manix was a popular art and design creator in the 2.0 era of Geometry Dash. Although he's had his fair bit of controversy involving stealing art from other creators to use in his levels, he eventually went on to redeem himself with his distinctive creating style. Both fusion levels had their own unique orange tech type style, and they both included their own boss fights. They both went on to be incredibly loved and well respected within the community, and so it was only right for Manix to want to end the series with a bang. Manix started the project Fusion Z, an extreme demon mega collab that shared similarities with the other fusion levels, but of course he wanted it to be way better. He gathered a large group of passionate and talented creators, and so the construction of Fusion Z began. One of the creators selected to take part was the one and only Novel Boy. Novel Boy today is known for verifying the Extreme Demon Bloodlust. However, he is not only a really good player, it turns out he's one of the best and most famous creators in the entire game, with his most famous level being Astral Divinity, formerly known as God Eater. Novel Boy finished his part in Fusion Z, and so did many other creators. The project was coming together perfectly, but suddenly, progress came to a stop. The problem was, Manix was starting to become a little inactive in the GD community, and if the host himself wasn't active, the level couldn't finish itself. And on October 14th, 2017, Manix posted an update to his YouTube channel that would explain what was going to happen to Fusion Z. Hello everyone, it's Manix, but you probably knew that since you clicked on this video. I am shutting down my channel. For all of you wondering what are, what's going to happen to my GD levels, Fusion Z is a dead level and I don't want it uploaded. That's just my personal choice. Everyone that took part in Fusion Z's creation had learned that their hard work was all for nothing. But ultimately, they decided to respect Manix's decision to let the level die out. Except for one member, Novel Boy. Novel Boy went on to make a decision that completely split the community. He decided to take Fusion Z and give it to fellow player Geomania, one of Novel Boy's friends. Geomania's intentions were to verify the level and upload it on his own account. And so, Manix, who once faced backlash for sealing other creations, was having his own project stolen from him this time. On one side of the argument was Novel Boy claiming that it was way too unfair to the other creators that poured so much work into their parts just for the level to be forgotten about. And a lot of his own supporters and friends agreed, but it seemed as they would turn the entire community against them. As on the other side of the argument was Manix and lots of other GD content creators claiming that Manix Manix's decision should have been respected from the start. And because it is Manix's level, he decides what happens to it. Well, who's in the right here? 
The logical answer to this debate would probably be to respect what the host wants, but on the other side we saw some reasonable points being made. We saw lots of players from the Dutch community side with Nobboboy and Geomania on the situation. The infamous Tosh Deluxe would go on to argue that once a level was officially uploaded to the GD servers, you give up the rights to the level in any way to anyone. Meaning technically, Geomania wasn't really doing anything wrong. You see, after Manix quit from GD, a copy of Fusion Z ended up on the servers. It was claimed that Manix himself was the one who uploaded the level, but other creators like Werwin explained that it wasn't true, and a copy was actually leaked onto the servers. So although Geomania technically had a reason to continue with it, it still seemed a little disrespectful to Manix, and even though they received tons of backlash, they decided to continue with the project. They weren't gonna let anyone stop them. But a new group of players was beginning to get involved, which took the duo by surprise. It was in fact some of the original creators. Because Manix was host of the level, it isn't much of a surprise that some of the collab members were some of his closest friends in the GD community. These members wanted Geomania to respect Manix's decision, of course, but they also brought up a new offer. If they continued to verify the level despite their wishes, they wanted their parts removed from the level completely. Also, because this wasn't Manix's level anymore, it would no longer be considered part of the Fusion series, and so they had to come up with a new name for the level, meaning Manix and parts of his team would no longer be involved with the level at all. Geomania and Nobboy knew they had a big decision ahead of them, and because of pressure building up from the original team and the rest of the community, they could not ignore the protests. They both decided that they would in fact remove the parts that needed to be removed, and so they also went to search for a new name. Unfortunately, the whole situation began adding a lot of stress onto Nobboy. One thing that makes the situation so interesting is that during this time, Nobboy was actually in the middle of his verification journey for Manix's level, Bloodlust. The fact that they now had this conflict between them made the whole thing a lot more uncomfortable. Manix couldn't really drop Nobboy from verification, as he was already too far into the level. In fact, four months before this whole Fusion Z situation, Nobboy died at 98 on Manix's level, and was still unable to verify the level up until that point. On top of Bloodlust, Nobboy now had to host a creator contest to fill in the missing parts that were deleted from the level. Eventually, Nobboy did find the creators and he hosted a new vote for the name of the level, and the name ended up being Molten Gear, which is what the level is now known as. Nearly three whole years later, in June 2020, Molten Gear was finally verified and released, and it seemed that Manix wasn't exactly too bothered by it. Funnily enough, Manix brought back one of his first versions of Fusion Z, and actually had it verified and uploaded for jokes on a separate account before Molten Gear was actually verified. Molten Gear did cause a little bit of division in the GD community, but Manix and Nobboy have both put all of that behind them, and are both now doing their own separate things.